Let's say that you have XYZ data that you want to display in a 3D surface or 3D wireframe graph inside Microsoft Excel. You may notice that if you plot just XYZ data in a surface plot that Excel will not produce a true surface graph. In this example, we are graphing XYZ data for a mountain range. As you can clearly see, this result does not resemble a mountain range at all. The reason for this is because we are only giving Excel three sets of data to plot on a surface. It is not because we have the wrong information. Rather, it is because our information is not in the correct format. To plot a surface graph in Excel, our data needs to be in a mesh format instead of XYZ. The good news is that it is entirely possible to convert XYZ data into a mesh format only using Excel. The bad news is that converting this data is tedious, time consuming, and can be very frustrating when dealing with a large amount of data, like we are in this example. I'm going to show you how to accomplish this, why it is tedious, and how you can save yourself a lot of time and headache in a much easier and faster manner. In this sheet, I have a small set of data in an XYZ format on the left, and on the right you can see that I have arranged these data points into a new format. This new format is called a mesh format, specifically a mesh single line format. In a mesh format, the X values are arranged as rows, the Y values are arranged as columns, and the Z values are placed in the corresponding X and Y locations for that data point. As you can see, this format is not difficult to understand. However, it is very time consuming to place these values manually inside a mesh format. This is required in order to plot XYZ data in a 3D surface plot inside Microsoft Excel. However, when we do graph this, you will notice that the surface graph is not fully curved. The graphed image we have here is incomplete, displaying jagged edges and missing points. This is because Excel will automatically assume that empty cells in the mesh format are a value of zero instead of an empty data point. This is causing our surface plot to look jagged and incomplete in a few areas. To fix this, we are going to need to calculate the distance of our data points using X and Y, matching them to our Z values, and generate new data for our missing points. This is something that Excel cannot do on its own, as its graphing capabilities are quite limited. There are many different formulas you can use for this, however, they are all very complicated and not practical for use in every empty cell inside of our mesh conversion. Even though Excel might not be able to produce a solid curve like we want, there is a way to convert this data easily and have it export directly into Microsoft Excel. XYZ Mesh is the only software available that converts XYZ data into Mesh, Mesh into XYZ, XYZ into 3D Line, and exports all of this data directly into a Microsoft Excel formatted document. This means that the process of manually converting our data into Mesh in Excel can be produced in seconds and even improved upon with a full curve calculation. To begin, we will need to copy our XYZ data and paste it into the first cell of the XYZ input tab inside XYZ Mesh. Once pasted, there are several options. These options include decimals, which is how many decimals we want to allow in our conversions. The greater the decimal, the more points and detail we will have. Sorting options which will inform XYZ Mesh how we want our data sorted, either by auto, not at all, by X, or by Y. Curving options like a complete curve for a true surface graph, fast curve, which will complete a maximum of a five-step curve, single points, which will not curve any of our data, 
and theoretical points, which will add missing X and Y values to fill in any empty holes that we may have in our data. The default settings will suffice for this demonstration. Next, we'll click the Convert to Mesh button located at the bottom, and our data will begin to be graphed on the right. To export this data into Excel, we will go to File and Export Converted to Excel. A new window will appear with optional information that we can export with our graph. This information includes company name, graph data, chart type, date, email, and other useful bits of information to help customize our converted data. Once satisfied, we click the Export button, and all of our data will be exported directly into Microsoft Excel. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other XYZ Mesh tutorials. A free trial of XYZ Mesh is available on our website at greattechnical.com. If you have any questions about XYZ Mesh or any of our other products, please email our support at support at greattechnical.com.